Happy Vlogmas, day 19. As you can see by my face, I am not thrilled about my day. I was not in the mood to talk, but here I am opening day seven of my mom's 12 days of Christmas advent calendar gift thing. And it is a bottle of sangria, non-alcoholic sangria. And right now we're essentially just gonna get into the content of today's video. So for this video here, it's basically me prepping my hair for wash day. And it's literally prepping my hair specifically because as you can see from the perimeter of my head, the hair around my perimeter is very, very soft. And some of the locks that I have already have slippage so I usually have to do this before washing because when I wash if the lock is too loose it will completely come out so this is just me prepping in order to prevent any of that from happening so I'm basically going around my perimeter pulling out the locks that I feel need a little more security and basically going in with my safety pin this is how i retie my hair because my hair is so damn soft so the traditional locking tools that exist um for example the one where you thread the hair through and it acts like a needle my hair in its current state especially around my perimeter is too thin and too small to even hook into that or stay within it and then the crochet needle that I do have as well, I'm just not a fan. I haven't tried it personally, but like the idea of having to stick that through the base and hook the hair into that, then pull it through, then it's just too much. So for me, I actually got this method from my mother-in-law who used to have locks and she would always use a safety pin to retie them. You essentially just pin or attach the hair to the safety pin. I didn't show it in detail, but you attach the hair to the safety pin at the bottom and you basically use it as a needle and thread. And it makes the retie process for me way more manageable um, and it takes way less time and I can get into a flow way easier, especially since I'm doing a two point turn. So as you can see here on this lock, it was one of those locks that completely had like one knot in it. So I essentially just started from scratch. Um, I also had put the safety pin in it too high. And when I went to go pull it through, it stopped in the middle. So learning curve here. I'm still new to this. And yeah, so I just decided to comb out the whole thing, untangle it and just redo it from scratch. So here I'm two strand twisting it. And I'm gonna go in with the safety pin and just retie or interlock the base of this two strand twist, which is essentially how I started my locks in the first place. I will say one of the most important things to remember if you are locking or interlocking your own hair is the importance of sectioning off and um, clipping off the hair surrounding the lock that you're working with because, because, because if you are not diligent about this, you will end up interlocking the lock you're working with into another one and it just becomes very difficult to manage and you end up having to try to pull your hair out of one lock or try to re or undo the last turn you did and it's, it just gets real hectic real quick and if you don't know what you're doing or if you're too far gone you can definitely damage your hair more than anything else so definitely make sure if you are doing your own reties to make sure that the lock that you are working with is the lock that you are working with and not anything in the surrounding areas because there has been times where i've done this and it's a real hassle and it gets real frustrating and i probably lost some hair because of it but that's neither here nor there Oh, 
Also, can we take a moment to recognize how fast my hair grew and how long the red did not last? <laughs> because I definitely dyed my hair back in July and it is what, December? And that's how many months? July, August, September, October, November, December. five months. And yeah, we're already here. That's like two inches at least of new growth. And it's not giving what it gave when I first dyed it red. And now I can't even dye it until my locks get more mature, which is a bummer. But I can always refresh in the red though. So basically the rest of this video is just me going around the whole entire perimeter of my hair, securing the locks that need to be secured so that I can wash it. Um, if you guys have any specific starter lock questions or any questions on how I wash my hair, um, how I maintain my hair, any products that I use, any tools that I use, go ahead and leave a comment um, and I'll get those answers out for you but i do have um some hair content coming out some more hair videos uh, since it is something that <laughs> is taking up my time and i can share with you all so there's that but anyways i'm gonna let y'all go ahead and watch the rest of the rest of the video this is real chill vibes nothing too crazy go ahead and see how i prep my hair and yeah, I'm gonna stop talking now. Y'all got this. Go ahead, subscribe, like, leave a comment. Doing this vlogmas thing has been real fun and interesting and stressful. So there's that. As you can see why I'm behind and I'm posting day 19 on not day 19. So yeah, there's that. Anyways, y'all have a good rest of your day. I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let us just know. Anyways, bye!